Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through some of the sounds and features in the new Kazoo version 2.0 upgrade. All right, so jumping right in, we're gonna talk about some of the new features that we've added within Kazoo version 2.0, and there's a lot of them. Uh, a lot of these features you're probably used to seeing on some of our other upgrades and other libraries with the, uh, the four layer system, as well as if you go into the advanced tab, you'll see that there's LFO, filter, arpeggiator, and so forth. But the new feature that we added is this legato designer. And when you go into here, it, it gives you the ability to add a simulated legato to something that maybe didn't have legato samples recorded. And you also have the ability to do portamento. So if you want to adjust the speed of the legato, all you have to do is pretty much just click this and then you can drag and that allows you to change it. So if you want a really quick uh, legato transition or if you want it to be very slow and very natural, you can just have it set all the way back and you just click and drag and that's all you have to do. So if let's say we turn this on, now we can... And to engage that, all you have to do is, once you hold the key, press another key while holding the previous and it'll transition. That's the only way that you'll be able to activate it. And then if you want to go ahead and set this to a portamento, you can get this kind of effect. So that's kind of cool if you want that sort of thing. All right, so now let's go ahead and start playing through some of the sounds that come with the library. So right now we're on the ensemble kazoo. We have these solo kazoo sounds. And then we got some kazoo vox sounds, which are really cool. Got Kazoo Vox A. And then Kazoo Vox B. And then you also have the ability to combine different layers. So if let's say on layer one, you want Vox A, and then on layer two, you want Vox B, you can go ahead and do that. So you can layer some different sounds together pretty easily. And then we also got some ambiences that come with the library. So this is a cool uh, sort of like uh, dirty record player sound. So if you want to just add this in the back, if you want that sort of uh, sounds like a, an old vinyl playing. And there's two different versions of that. So we have uh, record one and then record two. And 
and then we got some other more uh, traditional ambiences, drones, and pads to play with. really deep and menacing kind of sounds. Let's go ahead and play through one more. This one's really cool. And then if you want to do any kind of sound design stuff, you can go into the advanced tab. You can turn on filters. So with just a few clicks and playing around with it, you can get some really interesting stuff going pretty fast. So Kazoo version 2.0 also comes with 20 custom sound design effects presets to play around with, modify and tweak and just create your own if you want. So we really try to use as many of the different features within the library to sort of make some really uh, quick inspirational effects presets to play around with. So let's go ahead and play through some of those.
whenever you see mod wheel or MW in the name, uh, it means there's parameters mapped to the mod wheel, so definitely play around with that. All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough of Kazoo version 2.0. If you'd like to learn more about the library or upgrade if you're a previous owner, make sure to go to soundiron.com. So I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.